Tom, you are coming to the ACC at a time at which you are having one heck of a run as an athletic department right now. I'm sure the ACC is welcoming Louisville with open arms, not just because it's a great institution, but because the athletic teams are great right now. Well, we've enjoyed a lot of success, but we know in this business it's all cyclical. So we, we spend a lot of time uh, making sure that we keep working and, and pointing forward that, uh, that hopefully we could duplicate this again sometime. But, to, you know, to, to wake up and... and in December and be able to win a win a Sugar Bowl and go win a national title in men's basketball and be a national runner-up for women's basketball it, it's just a dream come true but you know we don't take anything for granted we appreciate everything that's happened to us but we're just uh, we're so excited about what our future looks like when Louisville does join the ACC a year from now there will be all this talk we've already had about an ACC channel and a year from now who knows where those talks go where would you like to see those talks go? well obviously I think you'd love to see it go there but that's smarter people than me they're gonna be making those decisions but uh, you know, I think any time that you can continue to brand yourself and re remake yourself, I think it's just it's an, it's an incredible asset for everybody. Louisville uh, wins a national championship in basketball and, of course, playing in the Big East these last many years, have had the conference tournament in New York. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of talk as coaches have come in sure. to talk to me about whether the conference tournament should be in New York or whether it should stay in Greensboro, where it's been for all these years. What are your thoughts on that? You know, really, I don't really have a position on it because I'm so new to the league. And, sure. you know, We've been in New York the last eight years, and it's, it's a phenomenal experience. I mean, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever been to, and being a part of it, you know, is, is very, very special. But I'm certain Greensboro and the, and the history that they have is unbelievable also. I can and tell you, it is we, an incredible experience. We just haven't had a chance to experience That's that That's right. It, it is fun. I, w I will say that. Now, I, I've seen there's a lot of talk in ACC conference watching the way John Swafford has built this conference mm -hmm. and ha allowed it to evolve. Um, people started calling him the ninja. And you responded to that, and I think you said he should be called the magician. He's a magician. And, I, and I'll tell you what, there's so many moving parts in what John does. And just watching him and the even keel he is, he's a brilliant thinker. But the thing that I, I love the most about him, and I'm, I'm really looking at him from a long distance away, is just how he handles everybody. He treats everybody first class. He's always prepared, and, and I think he's, he's so smart. And the way he's, he's done this entire expansion, how he's moved the ACC forward, the, the grant of rights was a brilliant maneuver. And uh, you know, I just can't say enough good things about John. And I'm just, we're just blessed that we get to be in, the, in this conference with a commissioner as, as solid as a rock as John.